Hello, oh, welcome to today's video. If you have never been here before, my name is Suzanne. I'm a stay-at-home mom to three girls, and I like to post content that is related to lifestyle, motherhood, homemaking, DIYs, and anything that relates to that. Today's video is super exciting because we are decorating for Christmas. I usually wait until the day after Thanksgiving to clean up all my fall stuff. I leave fall out all the way through Thanksgiving, and then normally on Black Friday, I'm motivated to take everything down although it's bittersweet I love my fall decor but I am usually really excited and ready to decorate for Christmas once fall is done and Thanksgiving is over so Saturday which is today is the day that I'm going to start decorating and we might trail into Sunday and then we're gonna put up our normal tree in the living room with some pared down ornaments because I have a two-year-old next year will probably be a different story but this year I think I'm gonna have to separate a lot of the ornaments because she will want to just take everything off the tree I can already tell we've got trees to put up we've got shelves to decorate, tables to decorate, fireplace mantles to decorate. I have everything to get done today. I have my helper, Lucy, who's going to be assisting me with decorating. She's my four-year-old and she is already super excited. She's getting everything laid out on the table so we can see what we have. I do want to buy just some greenery this year, but I'm going to wait and decorate with the things that I have currently and then tuck real greenery in here and there. So I might make a trip to the store later and purchase some uh, greenery from the local tree tents and uh, see what they have. But for now, I'm just going to use what I've got. So I have two bins of inside Christmas decor. My decorating style is not necessarily so much Christmas, but I just like to decorate for winter and then add touches of Christmas. It's the same when I decorate for Halloween. I don't necessarily have a ton of Halloween stuff. I just decorate for fall and then put touches of Halloween or touches of Thanksgiving. So I love decorating for Christmas. Winter is my least favorite season, but I feel like if I can make my house feel cozy, I love the greens of winter, natural decor. Um, I already have a lot of blue in my house, so I try to decorate with greens and blues and then put in silvers and golds here and there. I've never been a big red fan, so you won't really see hardly any red in my Christmas decor, but I uh, love the greens and blues and silvers, so those are usually the colors that I try to stick to. I like vintage inspired decor, but I also like very natural and rustic inspired decor, so it's just sort of a mixture of everything. Uh, so I will go ahead and get started, and then we're going to save the trees for last, but we're gonna go ahead and get everything else done starting now. If you wanna join us, you can. If you have decorating to do too, then come along and decorate. Or if you just wanna feel cozy, grab a cup of hot chocolate and we will decorate for Christmas together. All right, so here's Lucy and she is all ready to help me. These are my two bins of Christmas decor. I have indoor decorations and then I have outdoor decorations and then I have one or two bins I think that has Christmas ornaments for the tree. So those are still out in the garage. Uh, so I'm just going to be focusing on these bins right now. I've got blues and greens and just a little bit of red here and there, but really not a whole lot. We're going to get started. I'm just going to make my way around the house and do the things that I need to get done. I'm going to start with my fireplace mantle because it's one of my favorite things to decorate. So I'm, this is new this year. I have a different garland I'm going to be putting on. So I'm going to try this one. It's very heavy. So I'm going to hope that it holds. Uh, we'll see. I might need to give it some extra support, but we're going to try our best to get it hung up on the mantle and then, yeah, just work our way around. Lucy will help me out and we'll see how much we can get done. Something new that I had this year is this lighted pine garland. It's from Target. I think it was around $10 and it is so cute. I just love how it has the natural detail to it and also the little fairy lights that are strung along it. I just think it was the perfect addition to my decor this year because anywhere you can add some fairy lights is always a win with me. Thank you. 
I did end up getting some branches from the local tree lot. They just gave them to me for free, which was awesome. So I clipped the sprigs of the branches and just tucked them here and there where I felt that my home could use a little bit of fresh decor. And then I love this anthropology fir and fireside candle. I've had it for years and I barely use it, but it smells so good and I just love how it looks sitting out on the tabletop. I printed some artwork to put in these frames that I keep in my bathroom. Right now they both have these really pretty fall pictures in them, but I downloaded a couple pictures from Etsy and I thought these would be perfect to switch out for the winter and Christmas season. So I will just get these into the frames and put these up on the wall and I think that they're going to bring the right amount of Christmas to my bathroom. Yeah, let's go outside. I love how these turned out. This is such an easy decor hack. Just get a couple simple frames. These were from Target for $5 each and print some pictures and put those in there and you have instant home decor. Something else I did different this year was this little scene. I had all these houses and trees and I put the shelf back up by my Christmas tree and set up a little snow village scene there and I love it. I think it turned out so cute. It will always be Christmas in my heart. Anywhere where I could just add hints of natural decor, I took advantage of it. I've had these little resin birds for a while, and then I have all these amber glass jars that I just reused and tucked in either fake or real greenery, and I thought that it made really nice additions to the natural decor around my home. I also used those branches and created this little sprig of greenery to hang up. It has rosemary and the fresh fur in it and some dried oranges, which I'll show you how I made in my upcoming Christmas DIY video. The house smells amazing and looks so pretty with all these natural accents that I think I will do this every year. Moving on to my tree, I really do love this tree. I've had it for a few years now. I think I got it at Walmart and it is flocked. <laughs> so while I love the look of the snowy branches, it definitely is very messy. But one of my favorite things about it is because it's flocked, the lights on it, which it's just white lights, seem to glow even more. Um, so I just think that it's the prettiest tree and I don't remember it being too expensive. I might have gotten it for a Black Friday sale, but I love it and I see myself using it for a long time to come. Even though it is a little shorter, we could probably get a taller tree with as high as our ceilings are, I don't think I'll find a tree that I love as much as this one. So I've already had it for a couple years and I think I will continue to use it because I just love the way that it looks all lit up for the season. This is my bin of ornaments. I actually have a ton more ornaments. Uh, some are really sentimental that we keep every year and collect, but I did not want to put all those on the tree this year simply because Eleanor is two and she is at that age where she wants to take all the ornaments off the tree. So I kept it kind of simple with just some shattered proof balls that I usually use and some really soft ornaments that I didn't have to worry about them getting broken. So that's worked out really well. She has wanted to take the balls off the tree and sometimes I'll catch her removing them, but again they're not gonna break and they're really easy to just put back up on the tree so this has worked out well this year we'll see how she does next year maybe we can incorporate all of our ornaments back on the tree I hope that you are having a wonderful holiday season so far, however you're celebrating. And if this time of year is hard for you, I hope that you're able to find moments of peace during the holidays. This time of year can be magical, but it can also be difficult. If that's the case, I hope that small moments of holiday magic will find you this year. That's going to do it for this Christmas Decorate With Me video. Thank you so much for joining me. I had so much fun adding these little touches around my home. I will have a full Christmas house tour coming as well as more holiday videos 
coming your way soon, but this was really fun to do to kick off the season. The girls love the tree and all of the decorations, and it really makes it feel like Christmas here in the house. Thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.